Hey yo, what's up everybody? It's me, Milton. Welcome back to the Redskins Review. Um, and tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's draft day. Um, this is going to be a short video, just going through a few guys that I think we should we should go through at uh, our pick number 21 in the draft tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think about the guys that I'm going to talk about here, and also let me know who you guys think we should pick in the draft. I honestly don't watch too much college football, but I have looked up some of the guys that are in mock drafts, even though mock drafts are, you know, BS, they don't mean anything. I looked up a lot of guys and um, watched some of their tape and things like that. So let's get into it. And with the Redskins 21st pick in the first round of the draft, the Washington Redskins select nobody. Hopefully our general manager, Scott McLuhan, can work his magic in the later rounds of the draft. We can trade our uh, trade down to, to uh, another pick, maybe in the first round. Maybe we could make a trade with Denver or something for the, the 32nd overall pick and then uh, get some, some more picks in the later rounds. We already have, I think um, it is nine picks this year. So I like, I like Scott McCoolin's, um chances of picking people later in the draft. And uh, I think it's a good draft for the defense this year. And I think Scott McCoolin can kill it. He can kill it again with picking people later on in the draft. We trade our, our number 21 pick overall to someone else for more picks. I like what Scott McLuhan does. He tried it. He did it last year. I think he can do it again. And hopefully that's what we do with our number, uh, our, our, our first round pick, number 21 overall. Now, if we don't trade our, 20, our, our pick at number 21, uh, what I think we should do with, since the pick is 21 overall, we need to honor Sean Taylor and take a safety, which I like Carl Joseph. Yes, this guy missed a lot of his uh, senior year with a torn ACL, but I think this guy can bounce back. A lot of scouts have him as the number one safety, even after his injury. Uh, I, I watched this guy's tape, and man, the the guy, I think he's only 6'1", or, or, or he's only he's not extremely heavy, um, but he could pack on some more more muscle. And I like this guy. He likes to hit. He likes. He, he's not the best in cover, but he can sure up the run game. He can fuck a lot of people coming up over the middle. I like taking a safety with the number the the 21st overall pick to honor Sean Taylor. Um, but we'll see. It's a possibility that maybe this guy. Jack Conklin, offensive tackle out of Michigan State, drops down to number 21. I have a feeling Scott McClellan is going to take this guy because he already said he wants to protect Kirk Cousins. Uh, he's one of the he's one of the best offensive linemen in the draft. Scott McClellan wants to, wants to protect Kirk Cousins. He wants to bring back the Hogs if he's available. I doubt he's going to be available. He's got to get past the Giants. He's got to get past a lot of other teams. But if he's there at 21, I guarantee you Scott McClellan is taking Jack Conklin. Uh, tackle out of Michigan State to protect Kirk Cousins and since the draft is such a defensive draft this year we could get a lot of those defensive linemen and things like that that we need later in the draft alright guys so if we don't get Jack Conklin at, at 21 pick overall offensive lineman um, there's still a chance that we go offensive lineman we get the best center in this draft at 21 some people have said that Ryan Kelly it shouldn't go from Alabama should not go in the first round but I think he will, and if he's at available at 21, I think there's a strong possibility that we still go offensive line. Not a, not as much as uh, Conklin still available, but it's a possibility that we go uh, with the center from Alabama at 21, which brings me into the next segment where a lot of the other people that I think that we might choose at 21 are also from Alabama. There's a lot of mock drafts out there that have the Redskins taking Reggie Raglan the inside linebacker from Alabama uh, with the 21st overall pick. I like this pick. Um, I think we do need some more uh, linebackers, younger guys, because uh, we know we're going to run into injuries. I like this guy. Watching his tape is exciting. Uh, he's not afraid to hit anyone. He's a good downhill run stopper. He lacks a little bit in coverage sometimes, but uh, he kind of reminds me a little bit of London Fletcher, so I like that. The guy plays with intensity. He played in Alabama where you know the competition is, is up there and I think it'd be a good fit for us and then we gotta jump right into all the other Alabama prospects so let's do it. Okay guys to end this video uh, we need to go to the trenches on the defensive line. I, if we don't pick any of those guys that I was just mentioning 
I have a strong feeling that we're going to go defensive line at 21 and also probably later on in the draft and we're gonna draft from Alabama. Uh, it seems like they have some of the best prospects in um, Sean Robinson and Jaron Reed. A lot of people are high on Jaron Reed and a lot of people have us taking them in their mock drafts. Uh, like I said, mock drafts don't really mean anything. Scott McClellan, he's got a clear picture of what he wants to do. He just hasn't told us yet, but whatever he does, I believe in him. Um, I'm no doubt, uh, I'm sure they're gonna be good picks. Let me know what you guys think about these guys. Should we go, you guys think we're gonna go uh, some picks from Alabama? Do you like Carl Joseph? What other safeties do you guys like? Do you think we'll go safety at number 21 to honor the, the 21 number? Um, do you think we're gonna trade down? Do you think Scott McClellan's gonna trade our pick? Uh, and get more picks in this draft like he said he wanted to. I also saw an interview with Scott McClellan saying that he wants to make sure, he told Kirk Cousins that no matter what uh, play that Kirk Cousins put out on the field, uh, Kirk Cousins could go out there and play mediocre and he's still going to have our team win. He's gonna build around Kirk Cousins what he, is what he told him in person uh, to where he can play mediocre and the Redskins are still gonna win. So that to me seems like uh, he likes drafting offensive linemen to protect Kirk. And that's what I think we might do with our 21 overall pick because the offensive linemen are gonna be pushed up in this draft some because uh, there's a lot of defensive players in this draft. Um, anyway, I can't wait to see what happens. Um, I'm gonna make a video obviously after the draft tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you guys then. Let me know what you guys think about some of the guys I talked about. Some of the guys I might not know. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys actually watch more college football than me. Uh, let me know some guys I should look up tonight, and uh, maybe I'll be more familiar with them when the draft comes around tomorrow. Uh, hail to the Redskins. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.